Alright guys, so in this video we're going to talk about how we upload our own code to S3, or not S3, to Lambda, uh, because we're not expected to, to, to actually develop code in this little dialog box. Um, so what we need to do is it basically involves uploading a zip file to, to Lambda. Um, so we need to make a zip file out of our Python package. Um, so I'm going to go copy this code here and bring it into um, an editor or an IDE. And I think I mentioned this earlier, but we need to have these event and context parameters um, in, in the main function. So make sure your function has these two parameters. And I'm just going to add some, just a print statement that says this um, came from uploaded code. And all we need to do is um, go to where this file is and just zip it up. Okay, so now if we go back to Lambda, we can say upload from the zip file and just upload the zip and save it. And one other important thing we need to do is we need to change down here the handler. So this is just the, the name of your main function, or the, the actual name of your Python file. So this is simple lambda. And then this is the name of the main function, so lambda handler, and I think that's what this is called, yeah. Okay. So we save that. All right, so now we should be able to test that. So if we go back to S3 and upload one more image. Oops. Okay, if we go back to um, CloudWatch, we should be able to see, uh, I'm looking to make sure we see this, this updated print statement. So what time is this? This is it. Okay, so this came from uploaded code. So that's how you upload code to S um, to Lambda. Um, the tricky part now comes uh, what comes into play is importing modules. So it's a little bit tricky. So what how how that process works is basically we need to pip install any packages that we need into this directory. So if we needed um, uh, pillow, for example, that's how I extract the metadata from images. If we need that specific uh, package, we need to pip install it in this directory and then um, zip all of the contents up into a zip file. Now, since I'm on a Windows machine, there are some issues with that. Um, because of the way it, it's, it's um, built on Windows versus um, Linux and AWS's version of Linux, uh, there are some issues. So what the recommended way of doing this is, is it's to just start your own EC2 instance and do install, um, install all your packages on an EC2 instance. So if I, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and do that right now. Um, so if I go to EC2 here, we're just going to start up a, a temporary, um, just a, a very small um, T2 micro instance. And the reason is, like I said, um, Lambda is like, it, it's built upon this uh, Amazon AMI. So if we try to, um, you know, import packages um, on a, like from a package that was built on a Windows machine, it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to work on um, basically the environment where your Lambda function is hosted. Does that, sorry if that doesn't make sense, it's kind of confusing, but we basically need to install packages on a similar environment. So to do that, we just have to start an instance up. So I'm just going to go with the T2 micro here. We'll give this a few seconds to boot up. I'm going to copy the IP here. I actually need to download PuTTY real fast. 
So putty is how you can SSH into the EC2 instances. So let's just get this guy. I just reinstalled Windows on my uh, computer because it was acting a little slow. So I wiped everything and, and now I have to download all this stuff again. Alright, so this is up and running. Um, let's try to connect to it. I think I still, I hope I still have the key somewhere. So when you first start an EC2 instance, the default user is EC2 user. So just say EC2 user at and the IP address of your instance. And now I have to give it the, um, the key that I have. And I think I have it. Yeah, here it is. Okay. Alright, so now that we're in this EC2 instance, I'm just going to go ahead and make a folder um, called like Python Packages. And I'm going to uh, change the directory and go into that directory. Uh, and now we actually need to install Python 3. So on this um, Amazon image, the, it's called the AMI2. This is the, the most recent uh, Amazon image. Python 3 actually doesn't come um, with it. So I have this command here which basically installs Python 3. So I'm just going to click enter. And I'm going to um, put all these commands in a text file and probably put it on GitHub so you guys can just copy and paste it. All right. Um, so what we need to do now is install the packages that we need. So uh, see how we're in this Python packages directory. What we need to do is um, pip install our packages. So the first one I'm going to install is pillow because this is for extracting metadata out of images. So I have sudo pip3 install pillow dash t and dot. So this basically means install the pillow package and install it in this actual actually in this directory and that's what we want we want all of our dependencies need to be in um, zipped up in a directory so if I list this directory now you see we have some packages installed here so that's good um, so we're gonna do the same thing but now I want to install Postgres so the Postgres module for Python is called PSYCOPG2-binary. And if I click enter, all right, so now we have some more packages in there. And those are the, I think those are the only packages we're going to need for our script. So if you look here, this is the actual the entire Lambda function script that I'm running that you know pulls the metadata and insert inserts it into a database. So you see here, you know, we're using the Postgres module to connect to a database and insert it. Um, yeah, so th these are um, the only two that don't that aren't part of. Actually, Boto 3, too. We need to get Boto 3. Let me get... Um, so I'm just going to do the same thing, but for Boto 3. All right. Um, so this is part of the normal Python installation. And I think this is, too. So we don't have to worry about those. All right, so now what we need to do, we have to zip up this whole directory. So I'm going to actually go back one directory and then use this program called zip. And it's just going to zip, um, zip the contents of Python packages. And it's going to call it squash.zip. All right, so it's zipping everything up. All right. 
Okay, so now what we need to do, um, I'm going to just bring this back to my Windows machine. Uh, and to do that, I'm going to use something called FileZilla. And I'm just going to make a new site. And I want to use SFTP. And the host is the IP address of this guy. port 22 and we're going to use a key file to log in so I just need to find my the same key I used with putty user is going to be EC2 user okay all right and you see our squash.zip is here so this is our Linux uh, Amazon EC2 instance and this is my home computer so I'm just gonna put it um, let's just put it on the desktop for now so if I download it okay so there's squash.zip right here so I'm gonna extract it all So once I extract all these packages, I'm actually going to copy them into the same location where this simple Lambda function exists, and then zip it up, and then that's our the package that we can upload. I know it might be getting a little confusing, but just bear with me. This is the most annoying part of the whole process, but we're almost there. Alright, so these are the packages that we want to zip up. I actually don't know why that six thing is there. Hmm. I haven't seen that before. Anyway, let's copy everything here and bring it into the directory where our simple lambda is. So I'm actually going to delete this old package and paste everything in here. And I'm going to copy or control click our simple lambda. Actually, we want to make sure this works, right? So if we do these two import statements, that should be confirmation that this worked when we upload this to Lambda. So if if we upload this new package to Lambda and it doesn't complain about this PIL or this PSY COPG2, then that means um, everything was kosher with the Python packages. So what we need to do is we need to copy all or select all this this is from my IDE, so we don't need that. We don't need image processor. We just need simple lambda and six. And if we compress all this, I'm just going to call, rename this to Okay. So now we we're, we're finished with the CC2 instance, so I'm going to stop it. Cuz these, you know, you have to pay for these, so we don't want this running. We don't want to forget about it. Um, so if we go back to lambda and then same process upload as a file and we're going to upload the Python upload package and save this. Alright, so that should be uploaded. So I'm going to test it again by um, uploading another image to S3.
and if we go to CloudWatch, so if we go back to our Lambda function, then uh, monitoring, and then CloudWatch, we should see a new event, and we shouldn't see any errors. Uh, so what happened when I did this on a Windows machine? Uh, you know, basically pip install did the did the same process on a Windows machine. There were import errors because. Um, it didn't like that we built it on a Windows machine. So we shouldn't see any errors here. So that's not the right code or the, the right log file. This is it, 16. This came from the uploaded code. All right, so it didn't complain about this. So that means that uh, our Lambda function um, has these imports in it now. So now, now we're able to actually create something using those functions. And in the next video, I'm going to go over um, just very quickly um, this code. I don't want to actually go through everything in this code because I think I did that in, in another video. But um, I will post this code, um, and you guys can 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 use it that way. But um, yeah, that's what we'll do in the next video, and I know the process of adding it to the, or uh, making the EC2 instance and um, building the package that way might seem a little confusing and unnecessary, but um, it, it is necessary. Um, so just hang in there, and uh, we'll, we'll get this working.